Okay, sorry about that. I didn't mean to leave you hanging. Um, I would have normally, but I wanted to make an important point about the trace elements. Um, there are a lot of companies at the um, fish store or aquarium store that will sell you um, plant fertilizer that can go in your um, decorative ponds. But since in um, aquaponics, the idea is, of course, if you want, to eat the fish. But a lot of people use goldfish and use um, um, decorative fish. And these decorative fish you're not going to eat. So you can give them, supposedly, the heavy metals that we want to avoid in food fish. So I hope I've been able to say that clearly. Um, I don't want to name any companies, but they're pretty prevalent, and they're mostly in the coral area. But, you know, they do come over into fresh water, and they purport making your fish brighter and shinier with more color, blah, 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 blah. But all I want is for my catfish to be healthy and for me to not die or take in heavy metals when I eat them. So I wanted to make that clear. And um, also with the trace elements, um, I'm not clear as to how much to use. So I'll start slowly, of course. Um, another thing that could help add to the trace elements in the water is um, water changes. Or, um, um, I think this happened for me naturally last year because the plant's absorption rate um, was so much. Um, not counting the leak I had in the, um, the cheap Chinese Intex pool, which um, performed gallantly, I might add. Uh, so 10% um, 20% water changes or just filling it up to the top every week or two um, would probably give you some extra trace elements um, that you uh, will be missing uh, over time. Um, this is the only conclusion I can come to is that either it's inherently in the rock or your natural or organic uh, media and not in say the burlap um, I don't know um, I don't know I have noticed one thing the bees don't seem to be doing the job on the plants it looks like wasps are doing that job I'm noticing the bees are in the wood along maybe some of us have seen wood bees big fat things look like bumblebees but are not they're darker they're blacker and they eat wood they eat wood pulp okay I'm not seeing a lot of bees out here on these plants I'm seeing wasps but the bees look to be working the wood which is very strange the little honeybees the bees that we think pollinate I don't know if that's some weirdness or evolution or what I don't know so okay, I covered everything I wanted to cover, and I, I don't, I didn't want to make a part two, but I didn't want to leave people hanging with regard to the um, trace elements. And um, there are some companies in the UK and over in uh, Australia that are making um, plant supplement, food grade nutrients. Um, that don't possess metals but I have yet to find distributors over here um, you know I can provide that site info for those of you uh, in the UK and abroad um, being in uh, America with a K uh, we got a lot of Nazis in charge of what happens around here and I know that our standard for organic doesn't meet the world standards but uh, you guys aren't in the death grip of Monsanto so um, feel lucky about that um, okay well I guess that's all I have again I want to thank Impalas for the uh, for the show tank is literally the name of it like, uh, oh, I don't know, 500 gallons or something, 700 gallons. It was huge, and I will implement it. Um, okay, that's all I have. As I pause momentarily. Did I show the peppers on the other one? Now, 
either these peppers don't require the same nutrients are at a different pH base or the physical space required or contact with the media which are the hydrotons see I don't know if this yellow color this new growth which I know it is or if it's deficiency because of the new growth rapid growth you know it takes a while for this to darken up which means there's not enough uh, uh, nitrogen in it but that's not true because there's plenty of nitrogen in this water the issue is probably the trace element uh, elements required to give the plant better uptake so the plant could absorb more nutrients look at that ladybug can you see her oh that's so cool um, the requirements the trace elements required to make the healthy the plant take up a healthy balance of nutrients see I believe that's an imbalance I don't know what do I know they're doing well just um, I think they need trace elements so I'll be working on its where they make a bunch of rabbit cages W A R E and they have the trace elements um, salt licks and um, you know that's about it. Uh, I know this is working quite well and there's quite a bit of roots because from time to time this will puddle and I'll be forced to take this uh, hacksaw blade on the edge of it and chop down through the burlap and roots that have um, gotten so thick that um, it, it, it goes to seriously uh, DWC deep water culture because it's bubbling up over this edge right here which is just crazy so then I'm leaking on the ground so you know there's a gazillion leaks in the damn thing well you know I'll, I'll suffer because uh, these are going to produce like crazy look here here's a major bifurcation that has split right there and we're gonna go up this way and we're gonna go up this way I'll be surprised if this is able to stand the whole time I'll have to I'll have to to uh, strap this up with something okay that's all I have all the babbling seven minutes that's 17 minutes of garden update um, let me stand back a little bit and let you see the nightmare. Move to a light, maybe that'll help. Ah, uh, the sick tank. I could do the sick tank. I have not pressed any of this into place because I'm still deciding now on the hydrotons or the gravel. Since I got the Schedule 40 and I believe that's an adequate post, um, I could use the gravel. Although it'll be very hard to winterize, it'll be heavy. I'll need a required, I'll require some assistance to tote that gravel. Let's see. Oh, okay. A little something. I put in this string here to help um, control the water so it doesn't splash everywhere and of course the minute I put it in um, the ground dried up tremendously so there you go um, tomato plant sickle cell another tomato plant sickle cell these are the uh, watermelons which I believe I'm never going to get in the ground in time so it's over another pepper um, the hardcore refused to go down um, sunflower another hardcore refused to go down sunflower um, again extreme temperatures day to night causes this uh, dispersing color um, but the plants like it or the the bugs like it because the plants are stressed so they produce more sugars so the the plant is actually sweeter so the bugs actually like the sicker plants because of the excess sugars that they're trying to produce to create the um, uh, carbohydrates for uh, cell elongation and I know that's just way too much data but it's okay. That's all I got. Appreciate you. And uh, maybe once um, I'm a little further along in some of this, I, I'll show you the, the uh, front yard. Okay, that's it.